Hey YouTube, how's it going? Jonathan in the house again, aka Red Hipster or or J Red. Hey, I just want to let y'all know I'm here to do another video tonight. I'm gonna do a recording on my CD collection, and the CD collection I have is Tupac. This is my Tupac CD collection. You will love this if you're a Tupac fan. First, I'm gonna start with his first album. His first album, Tupacalypse. After he, you know, he did his work with Digital Underground. You know the same song. Y'all know this. As for Tupac fans, y'all gotta know that. So this is actually his first album, and he wrote all the lyrics himself. It says it right there on the back. If you could see that. Oh yeah. There's songs like here, Young Black Male, Trap, Soldier Story, I Don't Give a F-U-C-K, and Words of Wisdom, and Something Wicked, Violent, Brenda's Got a Baby, that's a single from it, including Trap, it was a single on the vinyl and the CD, and you also got it, My Homie Calls, The Lunatic, Rebel the Underground, this whole album is just incredible. Love this first album by Tupac. I also have the vinyl, and I will record that on the new video. This is an absolute awesome album by Tupac Shakur. And he is my all-time favorite rapper. He is the GOAT. And I know a lot of people out there may not think he is, but you know what? Yes, he is, because he's very influential, because he made a lot of albums. He was a workaholic. Nobody can do what Tupac can do. And this is an absolute great album by Tupac. Here's Strictly for my N-I-G-G-A-Z. This is an awesome album. He also speaks to, you know, about the police brutality and stuff like that and the black communities. He spoke the same thing in his first album too, The Tupacalypse. Forgot to mention that. Um, Yeah, he spoke a lot about that. There was a lot of racism at those times. And, and it's still happening to this, you know, day right now in 22, 2022. But yeah, you know, in the 90s and 80s was really rough. And you know, rappers like Tupac and Public Enemy, they rap about stuff like that. Very political. So this is these are both political albums right here. But they're both incredible. I like Keep Your Head Up on here, Holler If You Hear Me, Point the Finger, featuring um, Ice-T and... Oh, wait, no, no, my bad. <clears throat> Last Words. That's with um, Ice-T and Ice Cube. This is an awesome album right here, and I love the song too. And then, um, but Point the Finger is a great one. Soldier's Revenge, Representing 93, Struggling, Guess Who's Back, Keep Your Head Up. Yes, that's a great one. There was a single on that too, including the Holler If You Hear Me. And then there's also a song called Flex. It's another unreleased Tupac song, but that's a great one too. I have the single on that on vinyl, and I, re I will record that on the new video. But yes. As a Tupac fan, as myself, I've been a Tupac fan since I was a little kid, and that's how I got a hold of my mom's Tupac CDs, and I started listening to it, and that's how I got into Tupac. That's that's how I got it from my mom, and may God rest her soul. I miss my dear mom every day, and that's the reason why I play Dear Mom, because you know I dedicate that to my mom a lot, and all mothers out there too. And I will explain that from the Me Against the World album. But um, back to this. This is a great album by Tupac. Love the whole album. This is definitely a 100 out of a 100. And um, Papa Song's a great one. Deadly Venoms. The Streets Are Death Row. I Get Around. This is an absolute golden classic for rap and hip-hop culture. Here's another dope one. Love this one. Stay True is one of my favorite songs. Bury Me a G. Shit Don't Stop. Pour a Little Liquor. Don't Get It Twisted. How Long Will They Mourn Me featuring Nate D.O. Double G, Under Pressure, Cradle to the Grave, Straight Ballin'. This whole album is just a 100 out of a 100. This is an incredible album, and I do have the vinyl, and I will talk about that on the new video. Me Against the World. Love this. This is another incredible album by Tupac. Love this album. I'll always love this because, you know, Dear Mama's on here. If I die tonight, Lord knows. Um... Temptations. I know if I say Temptations, people are going to think I'm talking about the actual R&B group, but no, that's the name of a title of a song by Tupac. And then Young, N-I-G-G-A-Z, Heavy in the Game, Lord Knows, So Many Tears, Dear Mama, especially, because I was just mentioning that. I like to, to dedicate that song to my mom and all mothers out there in the world. And It Ain't Easy, Can You Get Away, Old School, F the World, Death Around the Corner, Outlaw. This is another 100 of a 100. This is like, you know, 
pre um, earlier Tupac before death Rel Tupac. And now we're about to get into death row. After he got released out of jail, he recorded this album. 27 tracks. Tupac was just working it, man. He was just writing lyric after lyric. I mean, he did it for all his albums. But when he got out of that, got out of prison from Rikers Island in New York, from a case he was going through, well, it was a that girl who accused him. She was a dumb, stupid idiot. But anyways, back to the story. Tupac here. I, you know, this is just a totally incredible album. It's hard to even pick a song. And I know All Eyes On Me is definitely the main one. Ambitions as a Rider, I love that one. Can't See Me, Shorty Wanna Be a Thug, and Only God Can Judge Me is definitely one of my top favorites. Picture Me Rolling. And Two America's Most Wanted with Snoop, Got My Mind Made Up, Hearts of Men, Life Goes On, and What's Your Phone Number, California Love Remix, and I Ain't Mad at You, and No More Pain, How Do You Want It, Scandalous, All About You. This is just incredible, man. Wonder Why They Call You B, and When We Ride, Thug Passion, Rather Be a N-I-W-G-A, Checkout Time. And of course, All Eyes On Me, Run The Streets, Ain't Hard To Find, Heaven Ain't Hard To Find. This is an absolute great album by Tupac. So yeah, you definitely got to add this to your Tupac CD collection. Same with the vinyl collection. This is an absolute incredible album by Tupac. It's another 100 out of another 100. Love this album. And yes, I do have a t-shirt of this same exact picture. Love it. Pac's just chilling. Just throwing up the W. Holding that death row chain. There was like no other artist. I mean, nobody who could do what Tupac can do. That's why he was a workaholic. He was an actor too. He was a poet. He was everything. He is the G-O-A-T. Greatest of all time. And that's how I state the facts. I know people want to put opinions out there, but you know what? I'm just stating the facts what Tupac was about. I don't want to sound cliche, but he is like the Michael Jordan of rap and hip-hop. He really is. He's like throwing rhyme after rhyme in every shot and all that. Just shooting basket after basket. Shooting rhyme after rhyme. That's what Tupac was about. Even punching rhyme after rhyme. Like a mix of Muhammad Ali in it, too. Tupac is just, man. He was slicing dicing when he was alive. And I wish he was still here. As all of us Tupac fans... Wish he was still here. Here's his Pathosmously album, Machiavelli. was released after his death, after September. It was released in November. This is another incredible album by him, Machiavelli, The Don Cluminati, Seven Day Theory. I love Against All Lives and The Bombs First, Hail Mary. These are great songs. Even To Live and Die in LA, I love that. And Life of an Outlaw, Just Like Daddy, White Man's World, Me and My Girlfriend, Hold Your Head. These are just like all incredible Tupac songs. And it was released from Death Row too. Love this album. Like I say, if you're a Tupac fan, get this album too. Add this to your collection. Are You Still Down? This was released after his death. This was in 97 this album was released. Love this album. The Are You Still Down is a great song. Do For Love. And um, <clears throat> Hell Rays is a good one. Thug Style. And Lie to Kick It. And Definition of a Thug. N-I-W-G-A. And Fake Ass B-Words. And Only Fear of Death. And um, Enemies With Me. And I Wonder If Heaven Got a Ghetto. And um, man, it's just, this is hard to choose, you know. This is, this is still a totally dope album. I love this. That's the reason why I've always been a true Tupac fan, because I listen to his other stuff, too. I don't just listen to California Love. I mean, I do like that song, but as a Tupac fan, I will listen to other songs of his. And that's what makes me a true fan. Here's Greatest Hits. Troublesome 96 is on here. And Unconditional Love. And uh, the California Love original version. Incredible. Here's, um, it's in his own words. It's more like, kind of like some of it's an interview and, 
and some and some are unreleased songs on here too. You got Naughty by Nature on here featured and um, Notorious B.I.G. So this is actually a an interesting one right here too. That's why I was glad I got it. Here's with the Outlaws, another incredible album. Letter to the President, love that one. And Baby Don't Cry, that's a Keep Your Head Up Part Two. And High Speed, The Good Die Young, Teardrops and Closed Caskets, Homeboys, Hella for a Hustler, and Still I Rise, Y'all Don't Know Us, Tattoo Tears, You Can't Be Touched. Incredible album. Here's some other ones right here. This is The Rose That Grew From The Concrete. This is his poetry album. Incredible album. Love it. Yeah, my video was acting all funny. I don't know why it froze. That was weird. But um, back to where I was. This is a great album, and I do actually have the book. Enough said. 100 out of a 100. And Unto the End of Time. This is another absolute classic. I love the Unto the End of Time titled song. Ballad of a Dead Soldier. F Friends, Little Homies, Let, it ha let Them Have It. And Effing with the Wrong, N-I-W-G-A. Thuggin' You, Thuggin' Me, Remix. Everything They Owe. Worldwide Mob Figures. My Closest Road Dogs. When Thugs Cry, You Don't Have to Worry. Why You Turn On Me. This is absolutely an awesome album by his. Another posthumously unreleased album by Tupac. Love this one. Better Days, Thug Mansion. And I love Better Days on here. Still Ballin', We'll Be Right on Our Enemies. F Em All, Never Be Peace. Mama's Just a Little Girl, Street Fame, What You Gonna Do, Fair Exchange, Late Night, that's what featuring DJ Quick, and my Block Remix, Doug Mansion again. There's also one with the Nas um, Acoustic, Who Do You Believe In, They Don't Give an F About Us, There You Go. This album's just 100, another 100. This one, yeah, it was still a good album, just a bunch of remixes. It's called New Mix, that's what it's called. Still a interesting album of his and the resurrection i love the soundtrack staring at the world through my rare view is a classic and panther power and tupac live loyal to the game this is another good one by him uh ghetto gospel uppercut black cotton and thugs get lonely that's featuring nate dog thug for life I know a lot of people said it wasn't that great of an album, but I still consider it's a good album because it's got some dope hits on there. Here's another unreleased one. There's a song I like on here. It's called Throw Your Hands Up, House of Pain featuring Biggie and um, Stretch. So yeah, this is like his unreleased stuff. Then Don't Go to Sleep, that's another good one with Corrupt and Daz. <clears throat> Here's another live Tupac when he was on Death Row. This is a really dope live album. Pox Life. A lot of people say it wasn't the best one, but I still consider it's a good one because, you know, it's Tupac. You know, I had to add it to the collection as being a Tupac fan. Nipsey Hussle was actually featured on a song on here. And then Ashante and T.I. and Snoop, Bone Thugs, Chameleon Air, Carl Thomas, Yaq Gaddafi from The Outlaws, Hussein Fatal, and The Beginnings. This is like his earlier stuff, like his very early, like Panther Powers on here. Let knowledge drop, never beat, never be, never be beat, and a day in the life, my burning heart. This is good stuff. He was speaking very Panther Power stuff right there. And this is like his greatest hits, like part one and a part two. Both incredible albums. Uh, Resist the Temptation, that's featuring Emile Larry. Larry, it's like a French last name. And there's a song, Dear Mama. It's another remix featuring Anthony Hamilton. Great one. Another great one right here. Um, Dope Fiends Diners, an unreleased one on here. Incredible stuff. Well, that's the end of the video, folks. I will catch you on the next chapter when I record my vinyl. All right. Hit the like and subscribe, folks. Stay blessed, stay safe. Bye.